What is going on everybody? We just found a Prevo Liberty coach that I believe is the nicest coach under $400,000 on the market right now. This is a double slide H3 that has been heavily updated. And the first things I wanna point out is the rear end of this coach. When we look at other coaches of this vintage and look at the tail light, the body work that's been done on this coach, this is the same stuff you're gonna see on late model coaches all the way up until the 2023s that we've seen now i've heard that the new body style 2024 liberty coaches are going to be coming out soon but under four hundred thousand dollars and it's going to look similar to that of a new prevo now i also want to point out the fender wells here these are the updated fender wells other prevos of this vintage are not going to look like this this is a much more updated look and a beautiful paint scheme that was redone on this coach recently with the perforated vinyl that brings that paint scheme through the rear windows and I love the white black and gold just a beautiful exterior paint design but in the front end of this coach has been updated you can see these headlights are going to be similar to the newer Prevos with the two big windshields a big update from other Prevos of this vintage we're going to take a look inside of this coach but I'm excited to take this for a test drive because I've always been told that the Prevo Liberty coaches drive better than any other motor coach on the market. And now you're probably not going to believe it. This coach is actually a 2003 double slide H3. So with all of those big updates, it definitely looks more modern. But to get a coach that looks like this under $400,000 is very rare. Before we drive this coach and take a look inside, let's uh, take a look at these basement bays real quick. This does have the Detroit Diesel Series 60, 500 horsepower. You've got the 365 tires up front with Michelin tires that have date codes of 2020, and I'm looking forward to taking this for a spin. It's got the doorbell camera. You can see the docking lights, these marker lights down the side of the coach that Liberty Coach does give it a really nice look. The height of these marker lights as well, when you fire those up at night, it really lights up your campsite well. More marker lights down here. This does have a 230 gallon diesel fuel tank. The biggest diesel fuel tank in the industry and a lot of people that know Prevos. Prevos are used in the tour bus industry, the passenger bus industries. These are industrial machines that are made to be reliable, keep going down the road. And a lot of the A-list rock stars are running around in these and they need to make sure that they get to that next show. So Prevo has been building buses for a long time and put a lot of money into the research and development in these coaches. Really so much value when you look at just the Prevo shell alone, you know, new these shells, these chassis are going for like $700,000, I believe. And the H3 chassis is about $100,000 more than the X chassis. Those of you that know the X chassis have the stainless steel sides, really good looking coach. The first thing I wanna do is pop up the power plant here. A lot of you like the Detroit Diesel Series 60, there's just a little latch right here. You've got easy access to your engine bay, that signature Liberty coach, polished stainless this belt guard and then that series 60 back there and you can just tell how good of condition this is in this coach has 157,000 miles on it and that beautiful liberty coach mud flap all of those little details and this does have a 20,000 pound towing capacity so if you're looking to tow a big stack or trailer and you want to keep your budget under four hundred thousand dollars this is going to be hard to beat then over here you've got your lifeline batteries access to some of your filters there and then these bay doors have these little locking mechanisms that you just adjust to shut those. The bays actually fold up on this coach and that's one of the big advantages of a double slide is when we put these big awnings out here we're gonna have more space under the awning because the slide room isn't coming out and taking up some of that space. The H3 has the tallest bays in the industry so they're able to do all kinds of cool stuff in these bays. This is gonna be your plumbing bay. You've got a little outside spot here to wash your hands on your patio side you can dump your tanks on the starboard side as well as fill your fresh water on this side as well and then back here we're gonna have a look at the Liberty coach holding tanks and then that marine grade water heater rather than having a separate black and gray waste tank they have a black gray combined waste tank so there's a lot of advantages to that if you're dry camping and taking a lot of showers you know your gray tank would get filled up really quickly and usually there's still a lot of room
room left in that black tank. When you put it all together, it also helps water down all of that waste and just help keep everything moving out of the coach. So here we have a Dometic cooler with the Liberty Coach lawn chairs. Not very many times you get to touch one of those for under $400,000. Very high end. The way Liberty Coach builds everything, it's all about quality. And this lawn chair is like it was new just because everything is high end in this coach. This is something, I don't know if this was standard, but the Liberty Coach placard here. There's these storage drawers. I mean, this is the same style of drawers that we see in the newer Liberty Coach. The same exact carpet that we've seen in some of the newer Liberty Coaches. Very timeless design. And, and the way these hold up over time, if you look at other coaches that are of the 2003 vintage and start opening everything up and looking at how all this carpet holds up, Liberty is at the top of the game for sure. You could eat off of that carpet if you needed to, just spotless. This is a 2003, so you know not everything is perfect. There's gonna be some little minor cosmetic stuff, but overall, this coach is showing really well. This is a half slide tray, all lined with carpet in excellent condition. And you have these little lights too that you can toggle on in your basement. And this first bay is gonna be storage and entertainment bay. You've got this TV that will swivel out here, that little latch that will hold it in place. And you've got this little door that folds back and then you can swivel that out. It's got the LG TV with the sound bar. Now, one of the big advantages of this coach is it's available here at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida. When you take delivery of this coach, you'll have a very extensive delivery process going over the coach, helping you understand how to use all of the systems. This is a very complex coach. Rather than having someone just throw you the keys and send you down the road, you can stay the night in the coach, hang out a few days if you want. I think Brad said hang out a week if you want. Make sure you understand everything. Make sure everything's in working condition. When you purchase a coach from the Motor Coach store, you become a part of the Motor Coach store family. So there's really a lot of value into purchasing this coach over other coaches out there. It's an incredible value overall at $399, $999. Here's a look at the signature plumbing bay. You can see that copper plumbing. And this is an elegant lady where some of the classics aren't quite as finished out as this elegant lady really timeless design for your dump valves and this is something they still use to keep the critters out just flip that around really nice engineering by liberty coach a lot of value here i believe this is your cooling system for your generator nice little storage spot right here you've got your power 50 amp cord reel with these marine style exterior ports and then a little power switch there in and out for your 50 amp cord reel here we have that signature liberty coach generator door face then you can see how liberty coach finishes everything out with that polished stainless just really a beautiful design it's got a 20 k W generator, a lot of power here. Here's the other side of the full pass through bay, but let's go take a look inside of this coach and then let's take it for a test drive. Coming inside of this Liberty coach, this is a timeless, very classy design. And we've got the ACs blowing nice and cold on a hot Florida day. I was just told it's the hottest day of the year here in Florida, but nice and cool and comfortable inside of this Liberty coach. So now I'm looking forward to driving this in just a moment. This is a classic floor plan with the recliner up front here and a lot of utilization in this space. You've got the huge Prevo windows. If you look closely at the different textures, this is a very high-end material and I would bet that this is the original Liberty Coach material. Again, you can see how well this material has held up. Nice little drawer for storage here. Not only was this coach heavily updated outside the coach, but the inside the Crestron panels were heavily updated as well. Here you can see there's that picture of the outside of the coach. We can control all of our lighting, our AV. There's the TV lift up and down. Press a button. So then you can see that TV just folded down and that black kind of blends well with those black cabinets. And then we can just press one button and put that TV up there, super easy. You can do a lot from this panel here. We can control the generator, the shades, monitor your tanks, your climate control, all of that good stuff, all from this tablet. You know, just heavily, heavily updated when you look at how much equipment is in this coach. And then these have the launch port stations there for charging. You do have nice big drawers here 
here below your sofa. Very comfortable furniture in this coach. And this does jackknife out into sleeping as well. Now, I wanna point out there's a lot of little details like these valances, the moldings around these slide rooms, all of this detail work in the ceiling here. It's almost like a Tuscan Venetian kind of a style. Very rich, but very timeless. If this were my personal coach, I would not remodel anything on the interior. The way Liberty Coach builds these coaches is to the highest level of quality. Anyone that's gonna come and do any like remodel work, I feel like it's never gonna be as good as Liberty Coach does. And although it's not modern, I would not do any remodeling in this coach at all. All the updates that should be done have already been done. So over here, we've got the huge dinette in the slide room here, huge view out of the Prevo windows. And I like that the H sits up a little higher. So that's one of the big advantages of the H3 over other motorhomes is the floor height is gonna be higher. So when you're sitting in the coach, you've got a higher elevated view. Uh, these are really touring coaches. So a lot of these H3 are passenger buses and they want the passengers to have the best view while traveling the country. And so in this coach, you're able to utilize that view while sitting. This is a very different galley design than we've seen in any other motorhome with this little cut in right here that you can walk in. You still have that nice view out of your window. You've got your sink. You could maybe do some dishes or clean up right here without being in the way of folks walking through the coach. And then when the slide rooms come in, you still have a lot of room. And in a moment, we're gonna show you what the coach is like with the slide rooms in while it's going down the road. We're gonna test drive it here in a minute. I'm excited about that. But you do have a lot of storage up here. Everything is extremely clean. When you look all lined with carpet with adjustable shelving, Liberty Coach uses every little nook and cranny. You've got storage up top here. And the multiple levels of that solid surface countertop. You can see the molded edge so that if you do get a spill on your countertop, it's not dripping down onto your cabinets. And I really like the colors, the neutral colors of the cabinets here. And all of the little touches Liberty Coach does, like the microwave is gonna be hidden behind these doors. Little storage area there for a coffee maker. A Gaganoff cooktop with this solid surface cover that matches the countertops. You've got your dishwasher down here, Fisher Paykel, lots of drawer space. And then a nice little wine cooler right here for the wine enthusiasts out there. And then across from that is gonna be your wine glass cabinet, very high end. These are made to stay in place so that they're not rattling while you're going down the road. Got your cocktail glasses and wine glasses. Really elegant, nice little cabinet there. You can see it's backlit. So at night when you come into the coach and you just have the accent lighting on, gives it a really nice look. And then your refrigerator has that face that matches the cabinets, very stylish. Stylish. And you can see you've got a residential refrigerator with a water and ice dispenser. That same beautiful laminate. And then of course, lots of storage here. And this is a mid bath coach. Really cool how Liberty builds this. So these are actually closet doors here. And when we open and close these, I mean, this reminds me of the door on a Rolls Royce. It's so smooth. You've got your nice little laundry hamper that conveniently pulls out, lined with carpet. Here's an extra leaf for your dinette, and then this will latch into place. And then you have the wardrobe on both sides with these very high-end drawers. You know, when you pull these drawers out and just open and close these doors, you can really feel the quality in this coach. Beautiful wall panels with the two different finishes with that wood grain, and then a really cool pattern here. But check out the water closet here. So rich inside of this water closet. You can see that piano hinge. I like to point those out, but check this out just how rich it is i would not change anything about this it reminds me of being at like the venetian hotel in las vegas but maybe even another level a higher end level this is like an italian villa inside of this coach the wall panels everything about it you do have a little bit of storage behind your head and this is something cool there is a telephone there if you want to call the driver up front maybe let them know you're uh, sitting on the head and uh, slow down or something i don't know why you would call the driver while you're on the toilet it, but it's there if you need to. And across from the water closet is this radius shower, very luxurious again. You've got this nice seat that you can sit down, beautiful tile work on the wall there, and plenty of room I can stand up, move around easily. You do have towel bars inside of your shower here. 
Then it does have a Bosch washer and dryer. I like the towel bars here on the inside of the washer dryer door as well. And again, when you open and close these doors, there's just nothing like a Liberty coach. So this does have a pocket air door back here. I just press one button and that will shut off. And there is another pocket air door at the front of the bathroom as well, so you can section this coach off, but check out the rear bedroom back here. Beautiful wood floors here. I like that there's no carpet in this coach. Again, a beautiful, like a mural on the ceiling, that Italian villa kind of a feel. You do have another telephone here in case you need to call your driver from the bedroom. And actually that's the doorbell. That's showing the doorbell camera there. I can feel that nice cold air blowing from those AC units right now. And you do have a second uh, sink back here in your bedroom as well. And you can see the updated tablets back here, uh, that launch port control. You can control all this stuff while you're laying in bed. Beautiful windows. Again, those huge Prevo windows. You have a nice view. And this does have that perforated vinyl, so that paint scheme comes through these back windows, but still you can see out very well, even with that perforated vinyl on the window. And then in the back of the coach here, we've got all kinds of storage. You have adjustable shelving lined with carpet area there for your components, Blu-ray player, and then a good size closet here in the back of the coach with these very high-end drawers here. And so many little details like this little rounded edge here. So much work goes into this coach. Really a classy, timeless design. All right, well, this coach is beautiful with the slide rooms out, but we're going to put the slide rooms in, take it for a test drive, and then we're going to show you what the coach looks like while the coach is going going down the road with the slide rooms as well. I've always been a big fan of the Liberty coaches and I've always been told that the way that they do the conversion is different than any other converter out there. I've been told that they weigh every part to make sure everything is symmetrically balanced. And a lot of you have seen a lot of the videos I've done with Frank Connick Setter and the other members of the Connick Setter family, uh, just a class act family, extremely passionate about how they build motor coaches. And you know, to this day, Liberty Coach is the most expensive motor coach that I know of. Like they're real money. 2.9, 2.95 MSRP, where I think a lot of the other manufacturers are around that 2.5 number. There may be some other 2.9, but I think as far as real money and what they really sell for as well, they're not giving huge discounts. This coach is obviously not under that original factory warranty, but Frank has talked about how they warranty squeaks and rattles to the original owner. And we're, we're going over some pretty big bumps in the road here. Uh, you can see uh, some, some road repairs going on here in Florida in the summertime. Even though this coach is not under that original warranty, Andrew, can you walk to the back of the coach and show everyone uh, what the coach is like with the slide rooms in going down the road, please? Thanks. We have all the lights off right now. We probably should have turned the lights off for you, but check out this beautiful view here. Back up a little bit so they can see, you know, the huge windshields, huge view. And I don't know if this was an updated front end. I, I know in the earlier models before 03, there was the quad windshield where these two windshields are going to be similar. I'd have to double check what year they made that change. But I've been told by Liberty owners that there's just something about how the Liberty's built that it drives better than other Prevos. And I've driven a lot of Prevos. And I, I'd have to say the Liberties definitely don't disappoint me. That being said, if you have a Liberty coach that hasn't been properly maintained or has old tires, beat up suspension, that could definitely affect the ride. This is just extremely smooth, a commercial grade chassis. While we're talking about commercial grade, I'd like to bring up you know the age of most airplanes out there. 
If you look at the average age of aircraft in a commercial aircraft fleet, a lot of them are, you know, 20 plus years old. A lot of the airplanes that are flown daily. This platform, if it's well maintained, I'd like to say it's like an airplane. It will last for decades and decades. A lot of people say these are million mile coaches and this coach is at 157,214 miles here as we're cruising. Overall, the value of this coach, I think this is an incredible buy, incredible opportunity for someone that's looking for a high-end, high-quality Prevo Liberty coach. Brad just texted me. He wants to do a blowout deal on this coach. So just fresh news to me is available for $399,000. $999. This is the nicest coach under $400,000 on the market in my opinion. Serious and qualified buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at the motorcoachstore.com. I greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.